Hi, I'm Julie May. I'm a professor, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm a sweet southern culinary superstar, even if it's only in my own kitchen. My food blog, Menu Musings of a Modern American Mom, reaches thousands of people all over the world each day. And today, I'm going to cook with you. Let's get started. Welcome to the Ingalls Kitchen. Today, we're making my tomato basil chicken, a recipe that went viral earlier this year. It's so simple and it's so delicious. Here's what you'll need. Two chicken breasts, kosher salt and black pepper, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two cups of chopped fresh tomatoes, two teaspoons of fresh minced garlic, four tablespoons of cold butter, a half a cup of freshly chopped basil, some freshly grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese for garnish, and a pasta of your choice. We'll be using linguine today. Now remember, all of this information is on the website, so you can print a list and take it with you, or you can pull it up on your phone when you're at the store. Okay, we're going to start now by laying out our chicken breast and seasoning them with salt and pepper. What I like about this kosher salt is that the granules are a little bigger, so you usually don't oversalt your food. And cracked pepper just tastes so fresh. And here's a good tip. If you need those chicken breasts to cook a little faster, you can always pound them out a little bit thinner. This is a great job to let the kids help you with. Okay, next we're gonna add our two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to our skillet. While your oil is heating up, go ahead and start your water boiling for your pasta. When your oil gets hot, we're going to carefully add our chicken breast. This is a great opportunity to talk to your children about respecting the heat on the stovetop. And you hear that nice sizzle? If your chicken doesn't start sizzling immediately, that means your oil isn't hot enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in here. I'm going to season the other side of the chicken. And it's probably gonna take about four or five minutes on each side to get that beautiful golden brown fillets that we're gonna be looking for. Now that we have a really nice sear on both sides of our chicken breast, it's time to add our fresh ingredients from the produce section. The first thing we're gonna add is our freshly chopped tomatoes. Now, it's gonna make a lot of steam and spit and sputter, and you just need to expect that, okay? That means something is happening in there. Now I'm gonna add about a half a cup of freshly chopped basil to our tomatoes because this is a beautiful marriage. And there. And on top of that, we're going to add cold butter. Now the butter is going to give us a nice silkiness to our sauce. Okay, so now that we have everything going in there nicely, I'm going to add some freshly minced garlic. This is Italian food after all. Now I didn't want to add the garlic first because I didn't want it to burn. So after everything's in there and it's given the skillet a little bit of time to cool down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add our garlic and, you know, give it a good stir and just let all those flavors kind of marry together. And while that's happening, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some more seasoning. We want to season all the aspects of our dish, which includes our fresh produce that we just added. So a little salt, a little freshly cracked pepper again. And you know what? I'm going to add a little dried basil to this. The, the flavor of the fresh basil will cook out as it cooks down. The dried basil is a little bit stronger. So just to bump up the flavor a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add some of that in there. And go ahead and just give this a chance to kind of wilt down and reduce. And the tomatoes are going to make a wonderful sauce. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, now that my chicken breast has cooked down for a while, it's cooked through, my flavors are all marrying together, um, I'm still waiting on my pasta to finish cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and slice our chicken breast and go ahead and get that ready. I'm gonna let the tomatoes cook down just a little bit longer. I like to cook them on the bias a little bit. I just think they're pretty when you put them on a plate like that. Remember, this chicken is really hot, so this might be a job for grown-ups. Still beautiful and juicy on the inside. We don't want overcooked chicken. Nobody likes dry chicken. All right.
right, and that is ready for our pasta. When we're ready to serve, we're going to portion out our pasta into the individual bowls. We have our beautiful pasta over here just waiting for us. And then we're going to take some of that sliced chicken and we're going to fan it out over the top. We're going to cover it in some of that beautiful tomato basil sauce that we just made. It's going to be so delicious. And I like to finish it off with a little fresh cracked pepper, a little fresh basil now that our other ones kind of cooked down a little bit. And you cannot forget some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, the king of cheeses, to finish off your dish. And there we have a dish that you will get rave reviews on. So, to finish off our show, I always like to answer a couple of questions from you at home from the website. The first comes to us from Sarah, and Sarah writes, Julie, love your recipes. Thanks, Sarah. Just wondering where you get them and how you come up with your ideas. Well, Sarah, I love cooking with my family. So like a lot of you, I get recipes from uncles, aunts, grandparents, my friends and neighbors. That's one of the best things about cooking is that it brings folks together. Thanks for asking. And the last one we're going to read is from Jessica in Buckhead. Jessica says, I have a tough time getting my kids to sit down for dinner. Suggestions? Jessica, the best thing I can recommend is to get them involved all the way from the beginning. Let them help you plan the meals, let them help you go shopping, and most importantly, get them in there cooking. You're gonna be surprised at how excited they get. Well, we're out of time today, but I wanna thank you so much for joining me here in the Ingalls Kitchen. Remember, you can find the recipes, videos, photos, and more all on the website. I'll be cooking up more great ideas for you and your family. Until next time, I'll see you online.